An Introduction to Interfolio for Faculty Reviews. The two most important terms you should know as they relate to Interfolio are dossier and packet. Your dossier is your personal document repository where you have the option to gather and organize materials well in advance of your review. Whether you use it and how you choose to organize it are completely up to you. Your packet is a review-specific application that you will submit according to your department timeline. Your packet will be initiated by the Provost Office three to six months before your review. Here are the packet initiation dates. Tenure and promotion reviews begin around the start of fall quarter, with packets being initiated on June 16th. Probationary reviews begin around the start of winter quarter, with packets being initiated on September 16th. And post-tenure reviews begin around the start of spring quarter, with packets being initiated on September 16th. For a faculty member whose packet has already been initiated, we recommend focusing on the packet rather than the dossier. Once your packet has been initiated, you will receive an email with a link to Interfolio. You can also get to Interfolio through MyWestern or the Faculty Relations website. Once you're on the login page, make sure to enter your proper credentials using your at www.edu email and your universal password. When you first log in to Interfolio, you'll have the option to choose to go to your dossier or to the WWU page. The WWU page contains your packet. The dossier page contains your dossier. Again, if your packet has already been initiated, go to the WWU page. If it has not already been initiated, go to your dossier. In this video, I will start by going to the dossier to demonstrate how to add documents, links to external web content, and tags. I will also explain how to group materials into collections and how to preview guidelines for your future review. After demonstrating the dossier, I will then go over how to complete your packet. If it is your first time logging into Interfolio, you may be asked if you'd like to designate the page you're on as a default landing page. We recommend you say no. Once you are inside your dossier, you will see options for materials and collections along the left-hand navigation bar. These will be the two locations that you visit the most. The materials link takes you to a page with all of your materials from past reviews and any other documents or links you have added. From here, you can search, filter, tag, or add more files. To search, simply enter whatever you are searching for into the search box. To filter, click Filter and make your selections. To add more files or links, click Add Files. From the Add Files screen, you have a few options. You can upload a file, link to a video, or add a link to a web page. To upload a file, click Browse to Upload, select your document or several documents, and then click Open. If you'd like, you can assign a document type from a preset list on the next screen. This can help you to filter documents as your list of materials grows. You also have the option to leave it uncategorized. It is up to you. To link to a video, click Video. Then add in a title for your video and the URL where it can be found. You also have the option of adding a description. Then click Add. In the same way, to add a link to a web page, click Web Page, then add a title, the URL, and an optional description. Then click Add. After you have added your documents, you have the option to tag them using your own set of values. To tag a document, click the plus icon under the file. You will then be given options of assigning an existing tag or creating a new one. To create a new one, click Add New Tag and type the name of the tag you'd like to use. Now you will be able to filter your list of materials by type and tags using the filter option at the top of the screen. Finally, you also have the ability to group similar files into collections. 
For example, if you'd like to group all of your course evaluations together in one collection, click the checkbox next to each document you'd like to group together and then click Add To. Select the name of an existing collection or add a new collection, such as Course Evaluations. Click Add. Now you can retrieve your course evaluations from two places. They are still available in your list of materials, and they are also available in their own grouping under Collections. The most important thing to wrap your head around is the difference between your dossier and your packet. You can access your dossier at any time, even when you're not up for review. Your review packet, on the other hand, is review specific. You only get access to it a few months before the review takes place. Faculty who like to prepare early should probably use the dossier as a staging ground for the materials they'll need to submit for the review in the future. On the other hand, faculty who are fine waiting for their review packet may choose not to bother with the dossier and instead just add the materials directly from their computer to the packet when the time comes. For those of you who would like to use the dossier as an early staging ground, there is the ability to preview what your future review will look like from your dossier. Under the Material tab, click the button titled Guidelines. From here you can search for the proper set of guidelines by unit and review type. When you locate the guidelines for your upcoming review, click Save, and then click Prepare for this review. You will be prompted to create a new collection and give it a new name. Next, a page will appear where you can add materials to the collection while viewing the guidelines for the review simultaneously. Remember to also always refer to your department evaluation plan as you prepare for your review. If you decide to do this type of early preparation for your review, when you finally gain access to your review packet, the materials in your dossier will be ready to go. You'll be able to pull them directly from your dossier over into your review packet and submit them for review. These instructions about guidelines and preparing for your review early only apply to faculty who would like to get started working on the review before the review packet has been started. For those whose packets have already been initiated, we recommend you go straight to the review packet and upload files from your computer or dossier. Next, I will demonstrate the review packet or the application that you will submit when you go up for a faculty review. I will go over how to get to your packet and the instructions provided along with it. I will also demonstrate how you can add documents from your dossier or straight from your computer. Finally, when you're finished adding materials, I'll demonstrate how you can lock the sections and submit them for review. If you're scheduled for an upcoming review, you will receive an email notification when your packet has been created and is ready for you to access. You can get to your packet in Interfolio using the link provided in the email, through MyWestern, or through the Faculty Relations website, similar to how you accessed your dossier, but instead of clicking the blue Dossier button after logging in, click the yellow Western Washington University button. If you happen to go to the Dossier page, you can always get back to the WWU page by clicking on your name and then Western Washington University. In the same way, you can switch from the WWU page to your Dossier by clicking your name and then Interfolio Dossier. When you click the Western Washington University link, you will be taken to your home page. Your review packet should be listed both under your action items in the middle of the screen and under your packets on the left-hand side of the screen. Let's click on the one listed in the middle of the screen to get started. You'll be taken to an overview screen with the listing of required materials for your review. Click View Instructions to read advice provided by your department for assembling and submitting your packet. At the very least, the instructions will include a link to your unit evaluation plan. Your packet itself will be divided into several sections, each with a list of materials that you'll need to upload in order for your packet to be considered. 
When you are ready to start adding content, click Pack It. From here, you can add files and links to external web content. When you click Add, you will have the options to choose Existing or Add New File. The option to choose Existing allows you to pull a file or link from your dossier where you saved the content previously. From here, you have the ability to search by name and filter by collection to find the right item or items. If the content you would like to add doesn't already exist in your dossier, then instead choose to add new file. This option allows you to upload a file from your local computer or add a link to a web page that didn't exist in your dossier. Here it is important to note that any file or link submitted as part of the review packet will be automatically copied over to your dossier so that your dossier will truly contain the complete record of documents submitted throughout your time at Western. This will also enable you to easily pull documents from previous reviews into a current review packet so that you are not having to recreate the whole thing from scratch. It is important that you don't click any of the submit buttons until the packet is complete. Once you submit any section, your department committee will be invited to view your packet so it is best not to bother them until the whole packet is ready to review. After you have completed the required sections and you're ready to submit your packet, select the checkbox in the blue header at the top of your screen and click Submit Sections. You'll be asked to confirm if you want to submit your packet and acknowledge that you're giving up edit permissions for the time being. To submit your packet for review, click Yes. If you forgot something that was required, you will receive an error message indicating the problem. It will say something like, you can submit this section once you have corrected any issues and added materials to meet the requirements for this section. In that case, you should fix the issue and resubmit. The rest of the review process is based on department-specific workflow. In other words, there's no need for you to identify the individuals or the groups that you want to share materials with, since the system will do so automatically. In conclusion, if you're planning to go up for a review in the current year, but no packet yet exists for you, please feel free to reach out to Faculty Relations Manager Austin Cooper at austin.cooper at www.edu to request that one be initiated. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your faculty review.